Uh, yes, can I get a uh, large iced coffee with no sugar and light ice? And then can I get uh, two double quarter pounder with cheese and bacon sandwiches with no bun? No bun. No bun. That's all. Yellow, yeah, no, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I want to talk a little bit about the lunch that I get from McDonald's. This is the second video on McDonald's and the biggest reason McDonald's is my go-to, as I mentioned on the first video, is because of their coffee. Their coffee is the most consistent. So part of that lunch that I eat at McDonald's is coffee, no sugar, light ice. This one really carries me through the day. I always try to go over there and just get the coffee if I forgot to make it for myself in the morning at home or something. Uh, and I, I try not to get too much food from McDonald's because it's expensive, especially when you get rid of the bun so the serving becomes a lot smaller and therefore not filling enough. But with that being said, I do enjoy the McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. And as you can see this one, the cheese got stuck on the top. So. There you go, sometimes they put it on the top, sometimes they put it in the middle, it all depends, but this is it right here. Now this burger doesn't normally come with lettuce, but when you order with no bun, they add the lettuce on the bottom, kind of like a salad. As you can see, it has the lettuce, it has two patties, it has bacon and cheese in the middle, and they do have ketchup. I used to have them take off the ketchup, but then it became too convoluted. In fact, when I first started ordering this, they kept giving me the regular, quarter pounder with cheese so I would end up paying for the double quarter pounder with cheese and would in a couple of instances get the quarter pounder with cheese and it was just tiny I always get two if I'm really hungry if I'm not that hungry I just get the one the total for this order right here is $18 which is a lot of money but worth it especially with the convenience of McDonald's being everywhere them having the coffee to my taste and also being able to not just to go on drive through but also going into the store and just choosing the order on your own I was gonna do a video with that but then I realized I might get yelled at for recording inside the store so I didn't do that now I do recognize that I go to McDonald's a lot uh, it is definitely my go-to but I have tried Burger King uh, low carb options with the burgers i like that they give you a big plate with a lot of lettuce and tomatoes because when you eat a bunless burger like for example the bacon king at burger king the combo of the patty with the bacon and the cheese tends to be too salty it just feels too like too much so being able to break it up with lettuce and tomato uh, really does help that's another reason why i started doing the uh, double quarter pounder with bacon and McDonald's because they do add the lettuce with this burger they don't add it with all the burgers that you get without a bun with this one the lettuce definitely helps you balance out the flavors but this is definitely one of my go-to meals especially when I'm busy like right now wedding season I'm actually waiting for a wedding right now so let me give you guys a really quick taste test since uh, you know I'm pretty sure you all know how McDonald's tastes this one has uh, some meat some cheese and some bacon my favorite part about McDonald's is their patties are really moist, really soft. I've had a couple of times in Burger King get patties that are really dry and I would have to kind of add some kind of a sauce to it. But these guys never disappoint. It is definitely something I recommend, especially when you mix it with the coffee. Uh, you can also get unsweetened iced tea. That's another one that kind of goes well for me. I used to not like both coffee and unsweetened iced tea, but now they're really uh, my go-to's. So that's it. I know this is a really fast video, but I think that uh, when you're struggling to look for keto-friendly options on the road, it's nice to be able to have a go-to so you don't kind of break from your diet when you're really hungry. So I hope this video helped you. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.